a lot of times we suffer because we enjoy suffering. And that sounds really weird, but if you think about it, say you make a mistake at some point. You do something wrong, like you hurt somebody, you whatever, um, screwed something up, whatever it may have been, it doesn't matter. Well then, you, you beat yourself up over it. You say, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. That was so terrible. Uh, it did, you know, it goes around and around in your head and you're like, oh my God. And, um, well, w really what good does that do? I mean, once you've realized that you've made a mistake, you've figured out how you're going to take action to not do it again, or you've, you know, you've said, oh man, I hate this feeling. I'm not going to do this again. Well, then at that point, there's really no there's no benefit to the suffering. The suffering doesn't do anything for you, except that it fills you with a sense of pride. So now you can say, oh, well, I hurt that person's feelings, or, you know, I did something mean, or, you know, whatever. And I felt bad about it. I felt bad about it for six months. Can you believe that? For six months, I felt bad about that. Well, all you're doing is you're giving yourself a sense of pride for how bad you felt, which is, I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, but why not leave out that whole complicated mess and just say, I can move on from this. I, I did the thing. I can't go back and undo the thing. So I'm just going to move forward. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, simply be happy. I don't need to turn it into some complicated process. I mean, is there like a certain amount that that you have to to feel bad in order to pay for a debt like, you know, you have to have at least 12 suffering to pay off this debt for this thing you did. Like that doesn't even mean anything. So the idea behind guilt and shame is to prevent us from doing stuff. And so you say, well, you get over it. Okay, well, does that mean that you say, oh, well, guilt and shame are just these tools. I don't have to deal with them. Well, no, you want to do well going forward so that you don't have to subject yourself to the guilt and shame even for a small period of time. So we want that to be as minimal as possible. So, of course, we try to do the right thing. But it ends there. As soon as you say, that's not the person I want to be anymore. That's not the kind of thing I want to do. Or, you know, that, that was an accident. Or that was something that I just completely did not foresee happening. And so, in any case, you can look at it and say, all right, that's not who I am. I'm, I'm someone else. I, I'm something else than that. Um, I have fixed that problem. So now I'm just going to move on. I'm just going to be happy. And I'm going to let it go. I don't need to dwell on it because feeling bad about it doesn't do me any favors except that it gives me that pride, that, that sense of, I guess, accomplishment for having paid my dues or paying my dues. But what does that get you? I mean, is that like some currency that you can use at the grocery store or something? Like, what is that even for? All right. You guys have a great weekend.